Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. My name is Daniel O. So today I'm going to showcase how to start Redis container with uh, Quarkus Dev Services plus React to application programming. Let's get started. The Quarkus fundamentally allows developer to use multiple types of data grid, for example, Infinite Span, but also Redis is one of the most popular uh, data grid or data cache uh, software. So you can run uh, the Quarkus application to uh, improve the application performance or like a high performance with a uh, data cache like a Redis. But in order to that, developer actually needed to stand up Redis installation server or a Redis container on your local machine. But sometimes it's uh, bothers developer to uh, run Redis container on your local machine. So Quarkus actually solved that problem with Dev services. So the Quarkus uh, allows developers to run a dev mode or the te local test, like a Maven beta file. Uh, it will automatically stand a Redis container on your local machine with the container engine. This is really helpful for developer make focus on application development. But also, you can develop reactive application with the Redis container to increase the performance issues. All right, uh, let's. Get right into the demo how it works. Here's my local application. So first of all, I'm gonna use Quarkus CLI to create a new Redis Dev Service project uh, using Quarkus to create the application. And then I'm gonna add uh, two required extension of Redis client and the rest easy uh, Jackson to process uh, to JSON format, uh, the return type, something like that. So change the directory and then I'm gonna uh, use VS Code to edit my application. In the meantime, the first thing first, I'm gonna run Quarkus demo. Uh, automatic. Uh, it will uh, allow me to uh, run Redis container automatically. As you will see, uh, their Docker container automatically stand up uh, during uh, Quarkus demo. So now you can see the container is automatically stand up uh, while the application is running, and then Quarkus is just run. When you go to our application, just generate from Quarkus CLI. Here's a hello world, the rest of the EG application, and the application probably there's nothing. Which means the, uh, if you already uh, have a uh, Redis client extension without any uh, configuration like a Redis host, it will stand up your uh, Redis uh, container automatically. When you press B on your terminal window, you can find the Redis client configuration, and then there are all uh, configuration properly, so automatically uh, stands up. So for example, the full size and also the Redis port name and the pool rating and a lot of uh, configuration, maybe you just leave the old default on your uh, local environment and you can actually disable uh, Redis Dev Service if you don't need it to use on your local machine. You can also specify the Dev Service port and image name and all, also their password uh, to access the Redis and then uh, just SSS certificate to access your Redis container as well. So I'm gonna just leave the default uh, values and I'll just try to access the endpoint uh, or automatically generate the hello world stuff. So I'm gonna create a new uh, Java beans for store the cache data just to attribute like a key values just for the demo. And then I'm gonna just create a constructor to, I'm gonna use this one to resource the file to create a new uh, cache data. So just map the key and value from uh, here Java attribute. And here's a new uh, create a Java class is for single tone, which I'm gonna use this CDI single tone Java classes to uh, get uh, data from cache or uh, put the data to the cache. To do that, I'm gonna use the res, res client Java class. Uh, I'm gonna inject that and here's a simple M method to get data cache from specific key. And the other one is I'm gonna create the fed method, which allows me to put new cache data in my Redis cache uh, store. So pretty simple, I just print the key and value as array uh, collection types. It's so pretty simple, just like when, I when you use a hash map on a Java application, like a put, get, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna add a new endpoint here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to, to uh, inject CDIV in greeting service. I just made it. And then uh, next thing, I'm going to need to add the get method 
with a new endpoint such as hello slash cache uh, and with the key parameter which he uh, retrieve a specific uh, cache data based on that key value and then the public method here the string can cache and then param uh, sa the key and then i just uh, involve the cdiv in greeting services and get with the key parameter pretty simple and then uh, i need to need to one more uh, method to put uh, new data in my cache so that's why i'm going to use the path method and then the path is a cache and no parameter because i'm going to send it to new cache based on js format uh, based on our java bin person cache and the degree service set in key value based on that js format file pretty simple so this is what i uh, uh, made that one just uh, get and put uh, the data so my purpose demo is still running let's try to add new data in the cache as an example so try to key like a number one and the value my name is daniel and i try to call the the right endpoint the http 88 default port in the progress demo and then hello cache as you see the first data is stored in a redis cache store let's try to one more thing like the uh, key is two and the value is then two so i just uh, put two data into my redis cache and now I'm trying to retrieve the existing cache with another endpoint, like uh, with the key, like a key two, key one, and then you see Dan two and Daniel. So pretty simple, really awesome to how to use the cache. And in the case, you can see test container is automatically stand up as demo because I didn't specify the Redis host port or URL on my application property file. That's it. Let's see how to use Quarkus. We do the latest cache uh, container. So I'm gonna try to add one more thing to reactivate application with the retrieve and the put uh, your data into cache data with the Redis container. So to do that, I'm gonna add REST mute E, uh, which allows me to uh, use a React Redis client for uh, create a new method uh, such as uni return type and listing string and then let's say the new method and we could get reactive this is just retrieve data from our uh, redis container so uh this is uh, not specify key parameter just uh, retrieve all existing cache data from redis so to do that i just map to all uh, keys for asterisks and the result is just definitely should be uh, array risk and then just create a full loop uh, to add all cache key into array list and then just re try to return that array list. So this is a reactive thing. Uh, try to uni and multi if you have a multiple thing. And then try to create a new method in a resource Java bin uh, with a new uh, endpoint here, cache slash reactive as an example. And at the same return type uni uh, with a listing type and then just to call CDI beans a new method, the greeting service, and get reactive thing. So pretty simple. So here's a good point is oh I just uh import the wrong list and just fix that with the Java util. Alright, so try to add a new cache data, like a key one, key two, and then here's a uh, new key three, uh so then three. Just I why I try to add a new data because when I save a new file, in the case the quark has to stop and restart, which means the existing cache data is gone. So that's why I try to do that. But you could keep updating the cache data with some specific uh, configuration in the application properly. So let's move on. I just created three data on my Redis container. And now I'll try to retrieve with a specific key parameter uh, and a reactive thing, not reactive thing, and just then three, then two. And now I'm going to try to retry with the reactive method here. I got three keys here. So in order to recap, so this video showcases how the Quarkus allows you developer to use Redis for add cache uh, with the dev services to develop the traditional microservices, but also reactive application to increase high performance application uh, with the data grid. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.